Joel Velasquez sends it into the night sky here in Idaho's Treasure Valley. And the Vikings get it first and 10 on the 25. But there is a flag down in the area of the kickoff. Time for the undersized Alexander who flings the ball out of bounds as he goes to the ground getting wrapped up by Curtis Weaver. See this replay though, Mike, it just could be an instance in which I think Davis Alexander may have been down before the pass was thrown. Nine in orange, Curtis Weaver. Long throw across the field and a stretch at the end by Matayo Talalamotu gets to the sticks. That's huge for Portland State. On the pitch, there's room, first down and more. Plenty down the sideline, and the Vikings are inside the 15. With great field position as Alexander let it go at the last second. Yeah, but watch at the end. It's Davis Alexander, the quarterback, and he forces Jalen Walker, number 15. Just five on the play clock. Three-man rush from the Broncos. Alexander scrambles and flings it out of bounds. He hit from 47 and 50 in week one. Didn't try it all last week. And this one from 26 is good. Well, they've been solid in the second half. Down 3 nothing. John Hightower back to receive for the Broncos. From the goal line, space across the 20. Now he cuts it back, headed toward midfield. Just a couple of Vikings to beat. Hightower from one goal line and across the other. Touchdown, Boise State. One of the most exciting players in college football. You just get the ball in his hands. He starts, it's what we call return right. You find the alley. And then once you get out to the outside, it's just a track meet. And there's not a lot of players in college football. For Broncos rush, the pocket collapses. Alexander has room to run and a blocker in front as he eclipses the 30-yard line and sets them up nicely. Hardly a snap goes without motion for Portland State. And that's out across to the 33 yard line. They needed the 35. Saturday Night Football presented by Wells Fargo. First offensive snap of the night for the Broncos as they have the lead and a shot downfield with a flag that follows. Has these Boise State fans excited for the future? Hand off to the left side. Big space for Rob Mahone. By the left tackle. They got John Molchan, he's the left tackle. He was the left guard last week. Showing everybody that the brothers hood of the offensive line still out there in spirit. Cleveland, the left tackle, an NFL draft prospect. Bachmeyer directs his blockers and takes off tumbling out of bounds. Two tight ends off to the left side as the handoff goes to Mahone. He reverses course, picks up a block from his quarterback. He's got a first down and more inside the 20. We're at the shoelaces. He's tackled by the safety, Ryan Lesh, saving a touchdown. I mean, what an outstanding play. You got the running back going one way. He hits that spin button, and he get a little help from your quarterback, Bachmeyer, setting up the block. And and so it comes in here on second down. They can still get it to first and goal with the markers at the three. Cores to the outside. No need for that because he's in for six. That's pretty simple if you're Boise State. It's window dressing, window dressing. That means everything... 413 left in the quarter and the Broncos have been impressive so far. It's a tough <laughs> effort for Florida State tonight. 413 did there. Wow. left here first quarter. It's Portland State goes back on offense down by 11. They had an explosive first drive. Ended up with three points. The Broncos show linebacker blitz. And the throw is on target to Kelly 
lined up in the exact perfect spot. Alexander throws downfield. He's got a connection and he's got a touchdown. The Vikings with a strike to Lala Motu from 52 yards on a third and 10. Mike, we can call it up the seam Saturday, right? The number two receiver, Tolomatsu, like you mentioned, he just runs without moving in the pocket. Seven deep in coverage, the pocket collapses, and Bachmeyer is sandwiched at the original line of scrimmage. One thing that I just talked about before the play, it's Ken Bachmeyer on his drop, stay still. Hold the football and just scan, but you watch how he hitches up. If he just stays where he was after his initial drop, he's safe, right? Yeah, he's, it's, it's a, we call it the safe house in between the tackles. So the penalty does salvage a somewhat weak punt that was only 24 yards. And the check down throw, no extra yardage. But there are flags. Will be the answer to what Boise State presents defensively. Hand off to Hoffman, tried to test the edge. No, sir. Chase Hatata runs him down and sends him backwards. I can tell you this. You're not going to run down this Boise State defensive line. Very important recruiting area outside Los Angeles for Boise State. Play fake, blitz comes. And the throw is caught by Hightower. He's at midfield where he's snagged and tackled by Romeo Gunn. But a big pickup with pressure for Bachmeyer to Hightower. We're single digits for Boise State. Going all orange tonight. Holani off to the right side, has the first down and some extra charge to that run as he ends up at the 28 yard line. Tight end Bates motions over. Stays in to block. Wide open to the 20 yard line. Will it be enough? Andrew Van Buren, the running back, sneaks out. And a flag at the end of the play as well. 17, Boise State. What do you look for here? Uh, draw screen. Instead, Bachmeyer steps up. He's looking end zone, and his throw is incomplete. Joel Velasquez is on for the kick. A try from 51 to make it a touchdown difference. Plenty of leg for Velasquez, but no good as it sails wide. It's the guy you need to get blocked. Pocket held up. Alexander had nowhere to go with it. He throws it out of bounds. Execute a drive and try to put this game a little ahead. The blitz comes and the throw is caught. First down yardage for Khalil Shakir, his first catch of the night. And just another one of those game breakers in the wide receiving room. Bachmeyer's got time. He steps up, tries to avoid pressure, and awaiting a Killian Butler makes the catch the 25. Well, what could be a negative sometimes can be a positive for Boise State. It's Hank Bachmeyer, and look how long he holds onto the football. He's been hit on pass plays more than any other FBS quarterback coming into this game. Ninth time he's taken a hit tonight. Now loads up, goes across the field, and connects for the touchdown. John Hightower flags down back at the 30. There's tardy. They've already initiated targeting. So they're going to be looking at rule 914 on this play because Bachmeyer is a defenseless player having just thrown the pass. Quickly to the sideline for Talala Motu. The Vikings pick up the pressure. There's a flag on the backside of the play, and Alexander's run gets him only to the 40-yard line, six yards shy of the first down marker as he's tackled by Sonatani Louie. Avery Williams waiting inside the 20 for the Broncos. Along the sideline, and not a lot of room to run. Good pickup on first down. Looking for something big over the middle, and something big happens, but it's for Portland State. It's intercepted. Ryan Lesh, the senior safety, picks it off. 
Mono Mono will out. get you. Yeah, Mono will get you. A lot of guys out for that New York Jets team. Third and 17. A great, big grab by Weaver at the ankle. And that time, he stops Alexander, who had nowhere to go. Yes, with a big-time stop. I've been waiting to call his name the entire day. And what happens, he gets one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. And for Curtis Weaver, that's just taking candy from a baby. And they're just not being able to finish Portland State offensively. Still on his feet. How about that? From inside the 20, Avery Williams threw a 28-yard return and an opportunity to score. First, it's secure the catch. And then just turns into backyard football, right? Just trying to find an opening. Great discipline by the Boise State special teams there with no blocks in the back and forcing pressure on Bachmeyer all night. Blitz up the middle. The throw is off. First down and more for Killian Butler. He's taken a ton of hits. Been hit over 14 times today. He backs up as he throws. That gets spiked into the ground and immediately fallen upon back at the 36-yard line. She stated that Andrew Van Buren was there to grab it. Well, that's hit number 15. That's hit number 15 on a quarterback. And look, we're only in week number three. And that's another hit. And Saw Cord for one snap. He ran for a touchdown. Third and 12. The pocket is clean here. Bachmeyer loads up and throws with a completion to the 16-yard line. First down, Broncos. Play man-to-man -man and send pressure. Maybe sending two extra guys on this one. The blitz is picked up. Throw caught at the 11-yard line by Shakir. First and goal, Boise State with 46 seconds before halftime. High receivers up top. Thomas and Butler, top of the screen. Throw is that way. Tipped and caught. Touchdown, Boise State. It's C.T. Thomas. You knew Hank Bachmeyer was going to work the far side of the field. So much open space. And at the end, Anthony Adams, your junior, is out tonight as well. Left tackle. Bachmeyer gets a clean throw off, and he's got a first down. A leaping attempt at the end of the play by Shakir. Vying year in and year out for group of five supremacy, and they've been their own worst enemy tonight. More pressure. Bachmeyer eludes the first tackler. Wrapped up by the second as he goes down back of the 40-yard line. Building confidence, continuing to throw the ball when I haven't ran it effectively in the first half. They have converted on some third down and long plays. There was some room to run there for Mahone. That do now, it gives Portland State life. And they feel like they can put a drive together to start this second half and feel comfortable about themselves. Fair catch called for and taken at the 21. Around the edge, the Broncos had it read perfectly. He's up top in the slot to the bottom of your screen, Davis Cutter. Just they've looked his way once tonight, an incomplete pass. Pocket collapses, and so does Alexander. Curtis Weaver helps lead the charge again. <laughs> that is a luxury for Jeff Smetty. That's a three-man rush. One, two, three defensive linemen. Sack number two for number 99. At the 34 and a couple of yards on the return. Yeah, we saw Cord last year as well, backing up Brett Rippon. You would think that he was going to be the incumbent starter possibly and win the job, but it's been Bachmeyer. And now perhaps, Kirk, with the change at quarterback here, that's George Holani, the freshman for 14 yards and a first down. On the fake, plenty of time for Cord. He checks it down for Holani. Another hurling attempt. He faces contact as he comes down. I guess the 300 hurdles are something that a lot of these Boise State players are doing in the offseason. I don't know where they're getting the hurdling from, but it's been effective for them. 
Well, I'm telling you. I want to know how much he's squatting. That's <laughs> some leg power. C.T. Thomas is open, and he's in for the Boise State touchdown. 33-yard hookup, and a lot easier than his last touchdown grab. It's 34 to 10 on the blue. 35-10, Broncos, a 33-yard connection. Core. C. State head basketball coach Leon Rice, who joins us here in the booth now with Boise State in the lead, 35-10, 8.06 in the third quarter as they take over. That's you finesse, like that's throw. right. Just shoot a free throw, you know, and, and just enjoy the process, though. That's the best thing. It's, it's That's what us coaches say, right? Yeah. <laughs> When you're shooting a free throw, they want the bend, the elbow, the eyes, and the follow through. Not too dissimilar. Chase Cord still in a quarterback for the Broncos. Cord, we talked about it already. He's more of the running quarterback. He delivered a touchdown pass earlier, but it's his legs. Remember, this is a guy coming back off a torn ACL just a year ago. Uh, we, and we both let each other know, too. You know, it, it's... it's that's the neat thing about Boise State is we all support each other and it, it really is Try again from 33 after the Broncos timeout and the kick is good the lead extended for Boise State Jalen Hurts with another outstanding performance Justin Fields at Ohio State My way too early Heisman talk it's never too early as we're <laughs> watching one of the top group of five teams in the country last year late in games and it's getting late for Portland State so for Portland State whether what the score looks like they could care less honestly right about now it's about working on themselves and getting ready for a big time conference play Davis Alexander and his elusiveness has been impressive tonight. He makes the completion to Davis Cutter, who we mentioned earlier. His dad, Dirk, well known among the Boise crowd. Now the offensive coordinator for the Falcons, but the head coach here from 98 to 2000 at Boise State. Put up some video game like plays today at quarterback for Portland State. He fakes the throw, gets away from Noah and runs past the sticks. Big rush and a big sack for Curtis Weaver. Oh, God. Brick. He's a sophomore. He's only 6'5", 290. Just on the edge of field goal range. Handoff gets them a couple of yards in the run by Carlos Martin. Try from 44, no good. To drain every second off the clock with a massive lead in the fourth quarter and backup quarterback Chase Cord coming on in relief of Hank Bachmeyer. C.T. Thomas, a couple of touchdown catches tonight. It's Holani, first down and then some, lowering the shoulder and flattening Anthony Adams as he went out of bounds. Talk about a true freshman, let everybody know that he's arrived. Lower the boom, George Holani, true freshman out of John, St. John Bosco, putting Anthony Adams on notice. Empty sets up the screen, and the throw to Stephon Cobbs, his first catch of the year. Inside the 20, the 10, pushed out of bounds. Touchdown. It's a, they're going to call that a pass. To me, that's a run play. All it is is getting it out on the perimeter. Great blocking by that offensive line. Eason loads up. It's a one-hopper incomplete. Jeff Schmetting, the new defensive coordinator at Boise State, replaced Andy Avalos and not being able to really perform into the fall camp. His pass incomplete. And Boise State does not provide injury updates throughout the game. It's 
It's only the second time they've showed that option look. There's a late flag as well. They've really extended their recruiting tentacles into the state of Texas, yeah. the greater Los Angeles area. One player who we've highlighted on the offensive side tonight has been the running back, George Holani. What kickstarted this program in the early 2000s is being able to go down to Los Angeles and get some outstanding talent. Turn back on fourth down and three. Dean Hank Bachmeyer. We saw Chase Cord at quarterback, and now it's Jalen Henderson who comes in and immediately takes off, running for a first down. The redshirt senior out of Texas. A lot of people here in Boise may be upset at me because it's UCF, but I still think they're the best group of five team right now with Josh Heupel and that team. So back-to-back -back drives. Portland State goes for it on fourth down. Boise State does as well. Might come down to a chain marking. Thank yes, you, officer. officer. Move on. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he wants to go into law enforcement, he says. Perhaps as a, a local cop. You now, he played a little bit of high school basketball, same high school coach as Kawhi Leonard. If you, you, you gotta love what you like. Put a lid on this one, 45 to 10. Boise's a winner and a quick turnaround for next week. Yeah, quick turnaround. We'll see what Bachmeyer can do next week versus Air Force. But a good win for Boise State. All circles back oh, together. All comes back to Boise.